today I'm going to be showing you how to make peach doll food. Peach baby alive food. So, first I'm going to show you all the materials you would need. You will need a cup of a cup of water, a spoon to mix everything up, red food coloring, and also yellow food coloring. You will need a plate if you're going to feed this to your doll right now, a Q-tip, and something to pour your water in, like this. I have this to pour the water in. You will need some glue. Well, this this was glue I poured into a bottle, and you also will need some lotion. So now I'm going to use these. This oh yeah, I forgot. To, to cup to mix everything in. So first, let me just make this closer so you can see. So the first thing you're going, the first thing, wait, I'm make sure you guys can see. So probably I'm going to use this clear cup so you can see everything. So the first thing you're going to need, wait, 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 wait. I think I'm going to use this. I should use this. So let me make sure you can see the inside for what I'm doing. So the first thing you're going to do is pour in the lotion. It doesn't how much you pour in. So pour in this much of this much of lotion. Then I'm going to pour it in this clear cup. And then now that you see the lotion, I'm going to pour in a little bit of glue because if you have a baby live doll and you don't want to clog it, make sure you just pour a little bit in. So I'm just here for the glue to come out. Okay, that should be good enough because I don't want too much because I don't want to clog off my baby alive doll. And then now you're going to use your spoon and mix it up into you think is mixed up good enough. It's still chunky because it's still not mixed up all the way. So keep mixing till you think it's good. Okay, this looks perfect enough because I don't see that much of the glue and the consistency is actually not that much thick because you don't want it too thick, that means you put too much glue. You don't want too much glue. Okay, now you're going to put your spoon on the side and take one drop of food coloring, one drop of yellow food coloring, one drop. Okay, now. You're going to mix it up. And then you look at this bright yellow color like it's the color of the sun. Now that will be good enough of a mixture for the peach food coloring. So now, oh, there's a hair in it, so you're just going to take that out. So now, we are going to take the Q-tip. Oh, uh, I think, so now you're going to take the red food coloring. Take the tip, the cotton part of the Q-tip and pour the red food coloring part on top of it. So you should get about at least this on your Q-tip. If you need a little bit more, then just add a little bit more red food coloring. So I think this should be good enough. And then keep mixing till you think you got a right amount. And to make sure it's mixing, this will take a while until the redness will absorb and, and get out of the cotton part of the Q-tip. So just keep on mixing until you look like you got that peach color. Because if you pour in the red food coloring, it's going to look all red. So that's why you want to use the Q-tip. So I'm just going to get all the red to get on the sides because you can just keep mixing, mixing. 
And you can see that the red, that the red is kind of on it. Well, I'm sorry that you can't see it. It's kind of bright. And then you'll get the cool color of like an orange. So that means you're doing the right thing. So until you think you got the orange color good to like it's like peach color, that means you did the right amount. But if you want to keep going, and you want to get uh, all the red, then you can keep going. But I think this should be good enough. I'm just mix it all good. Okay. Then now you're going to take your spoon and uh, mix it up because sometimes it can be a little bit hard to mix it up with the Q-tip that has the red because you want to keep adding. And then you should have like this orange color. I'm sorry because the camera is not catching the orangeness, but let me see if we can catch it on the spoon. Well, it still looks like a yellow, but it's not. It's actually a cute peach color of peach baby food. I don't know why it's coming out really, really bright. Probably if I do this to kind of... You can kind of see it if I put my hand on it. You can see like the peach color a little bit. So I'm really sad that it's not coming out its actual color. Let me see if I can just put the light far away. Okay, it still looks like a yellow, but I'm really sad it's not coming out the true color of the peach. If I probably, if I pull it in here, you can kind of see it better. Because I want you to see that it looks like a peach color. So here it is. It's still like a yellow color, but it's actually peach. So if you try this at home, you will see that it'll come out like a peach color. So I'm really sad it's not showing the real color of the peach. Probably if I take a picture, I'll, I will put it in this video. So if I probably take a picture of it and it'll show out the color, then I'll show you that it come out orange. So, bye guys. So, hope you like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. And, and you can try this at home if you got these materials. But, if you want me to, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make purple soda for your doll. It looks black. This camera's really weird, but it's purple. But, so yeah. So, bye. Oh yeah, one more thing I have to add in. Two more things I have to add in is that I looked over the video. You did see the orange color of the peach doll food I was making. And also, if you saw in the video, I actually didn't use the water. So you don't have to use water. Um, I Because um, when I was practicing, I used water. So this time I didn't use water. So you only need water if you need it. So that's all I have to add in. And so... Bye, truly saying bye.